Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. This is a special Sunday. Every Sunday is special, but this Sunday we are celebrating Transfiguration Sunday and also Valentine's Day. So I wanted to share the story of St. Valentine with you. And I have a picture of St. Valentine. It's not a great picture, but this is an icon of St. Valentine. You can see that he's wearing red, which indicates that he was a martyr. And oftentimes he's pictured with a palm branch, which is also a symbol of martyrdom. So we'll learn more about the history of St. Valentine by sharing this story. And then we're gonna reflect on how Transfiguration Sunday and Valentine, St. Valentine are connected by God's love. So we'll explore that together today. So this is the story of St. Valentine. There once was a man named Valentine who lived in the ancient city of Rome. Not in one of the big houses with white marble, but above the noisy street where he was a doctor. In his rooms, in his uh, above the street, he had many things to help heal people, mostly herbs that he picked from outside in the fields. And he used something, this is really big, like this, to help him turn those herbs into medicine for people. So this is a big bowl, it's called a mortar, and this is a pestle. These were the mortar and pestle that belonged to my grandmother. Um, I don't know how big St. Valentine's mortar and pestle were, but it's something you could put the herbs in the bottom and grind them up to make something to help people feel better. So when people came to see him, sometimes they didn't have money to pay him for his services. So he would accept anything that they had, maybe something they had made like bread or a pair of sandals instead. Not everyone also knew that he was a priest. That had to be kept a secret because in those days it was against the law to be a Christian. Whenever anything bad happened in the city, uh, officials would, bring, would blame the Christians and they would put them in jail or kill them. So when Valentine prayed, he did so quietly, closing his door and praying in secret. One day, an old man and a little girl came to his home. She could not see. She was the old man's daughter. He took care of the prisoners in the big jail in Rome. Valentine knew that it would be hard to cure her because she had been born blind, but he loved to talk to her and he often put something cool and wet over her eyes to make them feel better. When the old man wanted to pay, Valentine said, no, this is something I want to give your daughter. At night, when he prayed for his patients, he prayed most of all for the little girl. Valentine said that he and the little girl became good friends Sometimes, when her father was busy at the jail, Valentine and the little girl would go into the fields to pick herbs that he used to heal people. The little girl loved to pick the first flowers that bloomed in Rome after winter. And those flowers were crocuses. And she would give them to her father. One time, Valentine heard a noise outside his door he hoped it was the little girl, but instead there was a terrible crash. The Roman soldiers broke into his home and took him away. They found out that he was a Christian and they took him to the jail where the little girl's father was a jailer. The old man could hardly believe his eyes when Valentine was brought into the jail. He didn't know what to do. A few days later, the soldiers came to take Valentine away. Before he left, he asked for a pen and some ink and something to write on. The jailer hurried away to find it, and when he came back, Valentine wrote something on the piece of paper, and he rolled it up, and he gave it to the jailer, saying, Please give this to your little girl. Then he said goodbye, and he put a hand on each shoulder and looked him in the eye. The old man watched as he disappeared, and he knew he would never see him again. That night... When he went home, he gave the rolled up piece of paper to his little daughter. And she said, tell me what it says, dad. Just then, a crocus that had been rolled up into the letter fell out. 
and um, it said, from your Valentine. When the little girl picked up the flower, to her great surprise, she could see it. And that is the story of St. Valentine. So that's not the only story of, of St. Valentine. There are many stories, but that is one story that we have. So before we begin to wonder about the connection between Transfiguration Sunday and Valentine's Day, I want to invite you to think and to wonder about which part of the Valentine story you like the best. And I wonder what part of the story you thought was most important or which part seemed most important to you. And I wonder what part of the story is about you or where you might be in the story. And I wonder if we could leave out any part of the story and still have all the story that we need. Happy Valentine's Day. So today is a really special day because it's Valentine's Day and it's Transfiguration Sunday. So I wanted us to spend a moment thinking about the connection between those two things. What is transfiguration? What is um, love? What does it mean to be beloved? Um, and how can these two big events um, or a person and a big event, St. Valentine and the Transfiguration, how could they be connected by love? So first, let's think about Transfiguration. That's a big word. So this is the Feast of the Transfiguration. So the Transfiguration is what we read about in Mark 9, 2 through 9 in our Gospel reading today. And um, when Wheeler led, he said, he, when he closed that reading, he said, hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. So if we were all together, I would ask you, I wonder, what is the Spirit saying to you? What is the Spirit saying to you about what we read about in that passage? So transfiguration means a complete change of state. Jesus was lit up with God's love from the inside. He was shining. He, he um, transfigured into this beautiful state of being. And it was because of God's love that that happened. He was um, just completely shining, completely transformed uh, by God's love. So I want, I want to suggest that we can also shine with God's love. You can shine with God's love. You can bring the light into the dark places in the world by shining God's love. And then I wanted to ask about maybe how did um, God's love bring change in St. Valentine's life? How did he bring that love into the life of others? So we heard about in our story today how a little girl was able to see because of, of some kind of healing that took place because of something that St. Valentine did. So St. Valentine, um, he loved for God. And one of the ways that he loved for God that's not in our story is he married people. Uh, there was um, some kind of an edict against people getting married because they wanted Roman soldiers to be single men who did not worry about their families at home when they went into battle. But St. Valentine secretly married people in the church and he got them into big trouble. So his love for God led him to do things that were, that were dangerous and that landed him in jail and ultimately cost his life. So, um, one of the things I want to suggest is um, St. Valentine brought people together because they loved each other, but he did it because he was a beloved child of God. Jesus was beloved. You are beloved child of God. You're a precious child of God. And so when we can remember that, we are beloved. It leads to a kind of transfiguration, a kind of change of state that brings about beauty and it allows us to bring beauty into the world. So I hope today you'll take some time to think about what it means to be a beloved child of God, what it means to shine the light of Christ, and what it means to be transformed by God's love. God bless you all.